Hello my friends, I'm going to start new series with uh, Laravel and Livewire and we are going to build a business listing. So here I am in the Laravel and I have opened the Livewire website. I'm going to create a new Laravel project, call it a listing. And I'm going to install the Jetstream package. And we have uh, with Inertia and Livewire, but because I want to work with uh, Livewire, I'm going to install the Livewire version. Maybe I'm going to do one more with uh, Vue.js, but for now I'm going to install with uh, Livewire. So copy this command, composer require laravel slash jetstream and come here cd to the listing and pass the command here and now we need to run the php artisan jetstream install live wire you can add dash dash for teams or not if you want so pass it here and artisan migrate fresh okay run the npm install and npm run dev it's going to install the dependencies We can uh, render publish if, you, if we want. I'm going to do that. So open this in new, new tab. Or it's going to finish, yeah. Okay. Got pass the command and hit enter, and we copy the directory from the vendor Laravel Jetstream resources views to the resources views vendor and Jetstream. So now I have I want to open this with a PHP store. and also open in the browser listing dot test yeah here is our application we can uh, register and log in i'm going to register as uh, john john dot, dot com and add the password Okay, here is our dashboard, I can go to the profile and make changes here because we installed the Jetstream package. Okay, So uh, I'm going to create a model and migration for the listing. So artisan make model listing and dash m for migration. Okay, so search for the 
listings table okay and come here and add table on sign it integer for the user ID uh, with that table string for the name another one for the address another one for the uh, website another one for the email We can add uh, for the sign it integer for the phone and another one for the bio. Okay. Close this one and open here. Artisan migrate fresh I have a so if you open the .env file sorry .env I have created this uh, listing table so database so you need to create listings database or you can create an with another name no matter and add it here okay And if I open now the, sorry, if I open the table plus, okay, in the listing database open, we have uh, listings here with the user ID, name, address, website, email, phone, and bio. Okay, we have the users and in the next video we are going to we need to add a, a table here to display all the user listings and another button here to create a new listings. Okay, if you like a uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one thank you very much all the best hello my friends welcome again here i am in the listing dashboard i have registered as a john doe and i have created uh, two listings for this user id so user id one and one and listing one and listing two with uh, some address and website and the user ID one is here we have only one user I'm going to display the listing for that user here and create a new maybe no I'm going to display here so I have opened this uh, Italian UI and find this uh, table I'm going to copy this and uh, modify it with, uh, with our data. Okay, but first we need to create a live wire component. So here I am in the VS Code. I'm going to open the terminal here. And artisan make live wire and I'm going to call it listing. Okay. And now we have a, a listing blade and listing, uh, if I search for the listing live wire class, yeah. So here we have the class and here is the blade. I'm, first I'm going to add the blade here. So remove the, this 
xjet welcome and add the live wire and the name of the component in our case is listing okay and close this one so this name we add it here and I'm going to change this to my listing and save and if you go to the application and refresh now we have the my listing but we don't have any thing because our listing blade is empty okay I'm going to copy this uh, uh, table here and pass it here to the listing blade okay we need to modify this one so I'm going to make some changes so I'm going to display the name and what we have we have the name uh, address website email and I'm going to display this for so address uh, website and the email okay and here I'm going to remove this div and also the other divs I'm going to leave only the edit and here we need to check if uh, we have a listing so if not uh, empty the listings go and uh, make for each for each listings as listing and here I'm going to display the body here and we can display first the listing name and I need to write it correctly listing name and another one for the first we need to indent this okay yeah so we have a listing name copy this one and add another one for the what we have a name address website and email address okay another one website another one for the email okay save this one and go to the browser okay refresh and yeah we don't have uh, the listings so in the class now a listing class but before we display here the listing so if we can do listings and of user listings okay save this one but we don't have the relationship so we need to create the relationship with the user and listings okay open the user model and here we need to create a method call it listings and we need to return here this 
as many listing class okay and semicolon here save close this one and open the open the listing model now listing models yeah and add here the method user single and we don't expect here anything and we are going to return uh, this belong to a user class okay semicolon and save close this one and now here we we are okay so we display we have the listings here so if we go now to the browser and refresh why we add the listings here and if sorry if I add the listings here say come here and refresh and now yeah now we have the listing name address uh, website and email and we have this uh, edit link here okay in the next video we need to make a button and create to create new listing this to edit new listing and another I'm going to add another one here uh, yeah copy this one and paste it here and this is going to be for the delete and no indigo but uh, text is going to be red okay save refresh and now yeah we have uh, edit and delete okay and text on hover or red again save uh, refresh and now yeah okay so for this video we are done if you like uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel hope you all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much hello my friends welcome again i am in the dashboard and here we display the listing of the user so the user john has two listings for now and we have this uh, kind of button here for edit and delete but uh, when you click it don't do anything i'm going to add the search uh, input here and a button here to go to the create we are going to add the button and open the model to create a new listing and this edit and delete button this is going to be to edit and this is going to be to delete so the edit button is going to open the model to edit this listing and the delete is going to delete one. okay so open the code and here we have the listing and the listing blade the listing class is here i see if i open the folder is here inside the views uh, vendor jet stream you have some components which uh, we can use and i'm going to use the button uh, and the model and the di dialog model so here if we open the dialog model and he has he has got the title uh, content and footer okay and now i'm going to first i'm going to add here a button so x jet because is 
the jet stream exit button and uh, edit and the same thing here x jet button and delete okay if i save and uh, come here refresh and we see we have uh, edit and delete buttons but is uh, are the same color and we need to change the color here so add the class and for the edit we are going to add the bg green 500 and for the delete i'm going to add class with uh, the bg red uh, 500 okay save and refresh yeah i think this is okay now you can change the hover bg but i'm going to leave it right now and i want to add the search input here and the button here to show the model so i think is i'm going to add it here without the div with the class of uh, with full flex and justify between and made be a padding too and here a div and an input type text okay and we are going, I'm going to add a class with uh, padding 2 and margin 2 and around it okay also i'm going to add the placeholder search yeah and down there a div with the uh, x button and uh, create okay if i save and come here refresh and yeah x jet button sorry x jet button save and refresh now and you see here we have some kind of because we have a, when we have a small point a break point we have a margin x6 and large breakpoint we have the, this one so we need to add here what we added here so save and refresh and this kind of but not yet very good we need to add the p y2 save and refresh and now the search is okay but the button is not very good we need to add a class here because for the search we added margin uh, 2 and margin 2 so here i'm going to add uh, margin 2 and padding 2 save refresh and i think we are okay now we have create uh, one more thing here we need to add class sorry a class with a bg a green 500 save and refresh now yeah i think now we are okay okay mm. now when we click here i want to show model and for that we are going to use the just stream model model so i'm going to add the model uh, down there here and x jet dialog model and he expect the 
a title. If I open again, what he expect? Uh, dialog model. He expect title, content, and footer. Okay, so if I add x slot with a name uh, title, and I'm going to add just the title here and the code. Okay, this is going to be the content and add content here. And here is going to be the footer. Okay, footer, save and come here, refresh. Yeah, here is the model. But we want to show this model when we. So if I uh, we need to add some properties here, in the. In the listing class, so I'm going to add the public. Show. Model. By default, it's going to be false. Okay, and now here we can add the wire model, and it's going to be show model. Okay, yes, if I save and refresh here, yeah, we don't save the class so if I save the class and come here and refresh yeah we don't see the model so now when I am going to hit the, this button I'm going to add the event here so wire click and uh, show Model show create model. I'm going to show create model and we need to create method here. So in the class method and pass that name, we don't expect anything. We are just we are going to return no, just we're going to change uh, this show model show model to true okay save and refresh and if I hit this uh, button here uh, we don't save this one refresh again and create yeah we show the model okay now one more thing we need I want to when we click this edit I want to display the model and we need to add some uh, properties here the form but uh, when first we just want to show the model so I'm going to create another method sorry another method and I'm going to call it a uh, show edit model and this is going to expect an ID and it's going to return for now no for now just to add the this show model to true okay true and save okay here now when we have the edit yeah I'm going to add a wire click here a wire click and when we click here I'm going to call this uh, show model method okay and we need to uh, pass the 
listing ID, listing ID. Okay, save and refresh here, edit, and now we show the form, the model. Okay, now, now we need to add the form here and So here we need to add the form and the button here. So I'm going to add a button X jet button. Uh, create, but if, if we are, because I'm going to use this for edit and for create so if we are in the edit mode I'm going to make a property here so public edit edit mode is going to be false and Here, if I'm going to make an if statement, if we have edit mode, I'm going to copy this and add it here. Update, As update, create, and when we show model, and I'm going to also change the edit mode to true save and refresh if I hit create yeah we have we don't have anything because we don't save sorry refresh create we have the create button edit and we have the update and create because we need ab else and and if here okay refresh again we have the create and we have the update now okay my friends this is for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one thank you very much all the best hello my friends welcome again here we are in the application and i have opened the vs code okay and you can see here when we hit the create I have add this uh, form here I have add this because it's going to take a long time to create and I just add it and I'm going to add this uh, application in the uh, github repository so in the Laraveler and you can find there and if you want the form you can check okay so here is the form and if we come here to the code I have added the name and address and all the fields we have and also I have added the wire model we don't have the, this property yet but uh, I have added here and also I have added the error okay And now we need to add the properties here. So I'm going to do that now. So public and we have a name public address public uh, website public email uh, public phone and another one for the buyer okay after that I'm going to make a protected rules okay we need to validate the form so we have 
name and this is going to be required and I'm going to copy this and paste it here and this is going to be address and this is going to be website okay this is going to be uh, email uh, this is going to be phone and buy okay and for the address we need to add the url we need this will be url and for the email it's going to be email uh, bio is going to be max of 255 and i think we are okay you can add here what you want but just for quick i'm going to leave it like this and yeah now we have the form but when we click we don't do anything because the f we don't add anything here so in the button we have create i'm going to add the wire click and we are going to call it uh, the method create listing okay copy this one and come here and create that method okay here now we need to create first i'm going to validate the form so this validate and with that if you come here and refresh I hit create hit create here and we need to yeah we need to save this first and come here create here and create and yeah we have the validation so the validation work now I know why we want to create a listing first we need to add the authenticated user okay and listings create uh, okay and if I open the user model user model yeah we have a listing here I'm going to copy these fields here for uh, quick access and okay add it here and here we have the name The address Web website the email and the phone. okay and the bio here the last one hit save and come here and try okay create i'm going to give it a name first maybe first address and the website google.com but we need to add the https here because we add the url here 
validation. So we need to be URL here. Email is going to be test. Pawn is going to be something here and something here. Hit that create. And yeah, we need to, to add the properties. So if I open the listing model and I'm going to copy again and add it here protected fillable and it's going to be what we have here So this one, save and refresh again here, create, listing one, address one, and HTTP, at Google, Test the email and one, two, three, the phone. Okay, hit that create and we have the address here. But we don't close the form because here when we store the data, we need to call this reset. And it's going to change all the properties here to the default, what we have here. Okay. Uh, try again. We're going to try again. And we'll call it Laravel address. USA something there and it's going to be Laravel Laravel test dot com and something here and something here hit that create yeah why it's not closing Create listing and this reset. I'm, we don't save. Sorry, fans. Right. So when I hit create again, yeah, we close the the form. Okay. One. Now I want when I hit click, uh, delete here. I'm going to delete the listing and for that we need to make a method here method sorry method uh, delete listing and we we expect an id here so we need to use the listing but we have a listing called Call the class here. So here come and use up a models listing as model as a model listing. And here now we need to add a model listing find or fail the ID and delete now okay so the listing is going to be associated with that and now the listing delete ok 
okay save and come here and edit no we need that where we have the table okay yeah here we have the delete button we need to add the wire click here wire click and delete listing and we need to put the, the ID here so listing ID hit that save button and refresh again I'm going to delete this one yeah it's going to delete okay and uh, that's it is for this video in the next one we need to work with the edit okay hope you enjoy the video like and share with your friends if you like it's going to help me to do more videos like this so see you in the next one thank you very much all the best hello my friends welcome again here i am in the dashboard and in this video i'm going to work with the uh, edit mode uh, we are going to update the listings but before that i'm going to show you is uh, when you create hit the create a button yeah we show the form and we have the create button here and when we hit the edit we have we have the update and this is because here we show the if we have edit mode the true we have the edit mode here and by default this false if we have edit mode the true it's going to show the update button otherwise it's going to show the create button and when we hit this uh, edit button here so when we click the edit button we change uh, we call this a show model and this show model show edit model this is going to change the edit mode to true but uh, the problem is when we hit the create we we need to have so we have the create and we have the edit we have the update but we have create again we have the update and that's it that is because we're not changing the edit mode to false when when we close the the model okay now we need to change this and to do this one we need to look for the changes of the show model so if the show model is uh, now is true if we close is false so if this is false it's going to be we need to change this to false and to do this i'm going to make a method and is the updated hook in the live wire and we are uh, looking for the show model show model okay and we're not expecting any param just change this edit mode to false save and refresh okay now we have the create mode the create button we have the update here and we have the create again cool now let's work with uh, this the field to add the data and so when we show edit model we have the id and we change the show model to true and edit mode to true now we need to add data to the properties here and to do this we need first to find the listing with this with this id so model listing and i'm going to find the mod the listing with this id 
and I'm going to instantiate this with a listing. Okay, and now this uh, this name is going to be what the listing name is. Okay, hope makes sense for you. So come here and refresh. And now we edit. We have a listing with listing one. We hit edit here. We have listing two and so on. Okay, now just to copy this and uh, do the same for the rest. We have. Okay. We have the address. Yeah. And we have the website. Okay. Email. And phone. And the buyer. Okay, save, come here and refresh. And when we hit the edit, yeah, we have all the data. Cool. Now, we when we hit the button here, uh, update, we don't do anything for now, but we need to update the listing. So, wire click. And I'm going to call it a listing update. Okay, uh, copy this one and save. So after the create listing, I'm going to call the create new method a listing update listing update okay so here we need to update the listing but first we need to find the listing what we want to update and we don't have an id here and what we can do is come here and after that add a one property for the listing id Okay, and when we have the listing ID here, I'm going to change this listing ID with uh, the ID we have here. And now, when we have the update, I'm going to find the listing like this. But not with this ID, but with uh, this listing ID. Okay, and now this the listing update. And we need to update. I'm going to copy this one. Uh, and call the validate before okay so call the validate first and after that we update the we update the listing and yeah the same thing here reset okay if I save and Come here and refresh and change this one. Update it. Okay, update. And the web format is invalid because we not add the HTTP 
yes here so update and yeah is updated and also is this one updated change this one and why we have the name field is acquired because we have the field why we have that okay one again listing to updated and change this to the https youtube dot com okay update this one and yeah we have the youtube and updated and this again updated and change this to the https laraveller dot com update and so on yeah okay so i want to display the message here the listing is updated and if i come here and open the uh, views uh, components we have the banner here from the jet stream and he have the props for the style so we can do flash banner style to success and message is going to be a session flash banner okay Was this one so here we can do is a session flash and flash banner uh, listing. updated successfully okay save and just check now if I edit this one and hit the update yeah we update but we're not showing anything and why we have that sorry because if I open the app.blade.php I think yeah I saw the banner yeah we have the xjet banner here but I don't know why we're not showing so just copy this one here and add it I'm going to add it here okay so add it here save and refresh edit again one you update and yeah listing updated successfully okay and we have the extra edit to close the button i think we are good to go for this video and we, we can do the same thing for the I copy this one when we create the listing and just here we change this to created successfully and now when we create a listing we can show the message okay my friends hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one thank you very much all the best hello my friends welcome again so in this video I'm going to work with a search and I'm going to add the pagination to the listings we can create and we can edit and I have added this uh, 
slash button here and so I have a to the when we delete if we go here and yeah we have delete listing and just add the a listing deleted successfully okay now I want to work with the search form and here we have a type input type text and I'm going to add the wire model and I'm going to call it search okay save this one and come here and I have the search here Okay, come and here we can add the public search and it's going to be an empty string. Okay, come here down there now when we add the listings we just cut this from here and I'm going to create a new variable. I'll call it listings and I'm going to associate with that one and now here we can add, add the listings okay and I do that because here I want to make a, a check if uh, we have something in the search so if we have a search And we can do, for example, if uh, the search is uh, greater than two, for example, only if we have two more than two uh, characters, we can make a search, but I'm going to leave for now like this. And here now we can, I'm going to make a search for, for the name, so out user listings and I'm going to add to like this of user listings where a name is going to be like uh, add the percent sign here double curly braces and percent sign and here we can add this search ok and get so save now but this now the listing so we have I'm going to associate with that one and if we don't have a listing so we're going to display all the user listing if we don't have a, if we have a search this listing is going to be with this condition where her name is like uh, what we put in the search okay I hope you understand this one and save come here and refresh and now if I type U for example and we have a typo somewhere listings listings and here listings Okay, save and refresh again. Yeah, we have you here. If I type uh, N R, yeah, and so if I type L I, yeah, we have a search. Now I want to make that pagination, and here when we Add all the listings. I'm going to add paginate and paginate by two now because we have only two and we can change to what we want. If I refresh, yeah, we have only two, and here when we have a table, I'm going to add the listing links is Laravel thing so if I refresh 
links okay and we have uh, links here but it's not look very nice so cut it here and add a div with a class of uh, margin 2 and margin 2 and add it here save and refresh yeah now it's okay and we can make pagination but we have uh, that reloaded thing if you don't like this reloaded thing here we can do with a uh, live wire just add this line of code use with uh, pagination and save come here and refresh and now you see we have a pagination and we don't have a reload page okay cool now when we hit I hit for the search and yeah yeah we have that because we don't make a pagination here paginate by two okay come here and refresh yeah now if I hit you yeah we have you here and R okay we don't show the pagination if I L I yeah and it's working perfectly I'm going to do one more thing here so if I come here when we have a table yeah I'm going to add no here but yeah, we have body I'm going to add uh, opacity to be 50 here save and refresh and we have to look like this okay but going to remove and we add it when we have a wire loading class and add the opacity here okay if I save and make a refresh now if I it, yeah you see you saw it, but it's very quick and if I made a, so if we have a search I'm going to sleep for one second save and come here refresh okay so if I search for NR you see here we muted and now I think it's okay and one more thing we can do is if we don't have a, if we don't have a record for example if I type something gibberish here and we don't have a record we don't show anything and we can show here we, can, we make if we have a listing So if not empty the listings we can do that like this or we can make a for else and and for else here and we can add the empty here okay and here we can uh, display I'm going to just add to no result save and refresh here and type something gibberish and we add it here no results but I don't like that one okay what we just copy this one not this one just the first one 
and add it here and close the DR. Here we can do uh, no results, save and refresh here. Okay, it search for, and yeah, we have now no results. Okay, hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial. Uh, one more thing here. Here we have a my model type text. I'm going to change this to type search. And now, when you click and just click here and clear the search for. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you enjoy, subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in the next one. Thank you very much. All the best. Hello, my friends. Welcome again. This is going to be the last part. So I have uh, created the dashboard and we can create, uh, edit and delete uh, listings. We have a pagination, we have a search and all of that. So it's time now to do the last thing. We, I want to display all the listings here. And after that, we can click and uh, watch the show the single listing. Okay, I have opened the VS Code, and first I'm going to open the terminal and artisan make controller listing. Controller. Okay. Close this one and open the listing controller now. And here I'm going to create a method index and grab all the listings. So listings going to be listing order by created at and is going to be desk okay paginate by 12 Okay, and here we can return a view. We don't have the view, but I'm going to create one. So it's going to be inside the listings directory. And we're going to call it index. And we can pass the listings here. Okay. Uh, we need to import the listing up model listing and save now open the folders and inside the view I'm going to create a new folder here call it listings and inside new file call it uh, index dot blade.php x guest layout I think it's with uh, and the uh, guest layout is uh, yeah, it has only the de default slot and has the app CSS, which is uh, tagged in CSS because we have installed the uh, Jetstream. Okay. Here, what I want to do is to display all the listings and we can do a div with a class of uh, container and makes auto 
and I'm going to close this one and add here a section with class margin2 and padding2 and bg is going to be gray 100 okay here we are going to add the ul and we need to make a for each here for each the listings as listing and li here we display the listing name if i save and open the web.php so, and here we can register a route i'm going to use this one and add the listing controller here class and the method is index and name is going to be listings.index ok save come here and refresh and yeah we have all the listings here and now we're going to search for the Tailwind CSS list list group. Okay, maybe web Tailwind CSS, and we have some. Uh, I'm going to use this one. So in the LI, we can add the. this one here index and li add the class sorry okay save and refresh yeah here is our listings you can uh, make your uh, design but for just for quick uh, demonstration okay now here I'm going to make this uh, ashraf a link because when we click here I'm going to show the single listing okay and uh, we don't have the route now I'm going to create one now so come here and copy this paste and I copy add it down there add the listing And this is going to be the show method. And the name is going to be show. Okay, save this one. And we don't need this one anymore. So come here and create that method. Okay, show method. And we expect an, a listing. So I'm going to use the listing, the road model binding. Okay, and just return the view listings. I'm going to create this one. Show and add the listing. Okay, save and come here, and we have the list index create new one for the show show blade.php and come here 
copy and pass it here. And uh, this one is free. So copy this one and come here. Uh, when you have it, and then just need intent. Okay, save this one. Uh, come here and. Now we have the road here, you know, uh, this road. Get listing, we name it uh, listings show, and we can add use here. So, road listings dot show and uh, save. Come here, refresh. Listings that show, yeah. Sorry, friends. I want to make this uh, video quick, and for that, we need to add the listing ID here. Save because here we are expecting a parameter. Okay. Now come here and refresh. Yeah. And here is the listings. When we click, we go here, and for now we display some random things. But we have to change this to listing details. Remove the paragraph, and I'm going to open the table plus to see what what we have so open the listing database and the listings has name address website email phone and bio okay so here is the name I'm going to display the listing name and this uh, variable is from the controller here okay listing name and oh, sorry this need to be here and the name is going to be here so we have a name uh, address website this is going to be the address and okay here is the email address I'm going to leave it as it is and we can add the listing email I'm going to copy this one and add it the website and a website here and what we have we have a phone okay add the phone here And what and here, yeah, is the bio and display the bio here. Okay, we don't need the attachment. I remove this one, save and come here, refresh, and yeah, listing details, name listing number four address uh, website uh, email phone and bio and if you want to make this uh, the website a link we can cut this one and make a link href 
and pass it here and also pass it here this one okay save come here and refresh and now we can go to the we have the clicking event we can make i'm going to add class here class for the text blue 400 and maybe text uh, not text but font font bold or semi bold and if I say come here uh, refresh yeah here we have the link also we can do with the email address so copy this one cut, cut this one and href mail to and pass the mail also add the mail here and close the anchor tag and so we need to add the class here save and refresh and now we can send the email okay so if i click and this is for the the end of the video the end of the series i hope you enjoy uh, comment down there and i'm going to do the best to reply you okay so all the best if you like uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next series thank you very much